Listen up. I just patched her to the office. Sheriff Dante's manning our radios. Why, where's Robin? Seems she went looking for Cody. Here? This is it? I think so. You think so? Cody, there's nothing here. This is it. Pretty nice, huh? Pretty nice. What? The chimney. You're standing on a roof. According to the coordinates Dante gave me, that would put the plane down close to Lake Alpine here. Carson Pass area, Crow Creek Canyon. On a line that's, what, five miles from here? To get there, we gotta backtrack for hours. Okay, now I feel better. Better? What the hell are you talking about? Your brother knows that area better than I do. He's only 15 years old. He's got no business being out there. Out there? That's where he belongs. It's his home. He can take care of himself. No, Dad, you can take care of yourself. Cody's just a kid. He's not you. Okay, you got a couple of choices. You can go after the bad guys of the downed airplane. But if you call this off, don't blame it on your brother. He did what he believed in. You're probably right. He'll be OK. Do I look worried to you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, when you get grouchy like this, you're usually worried. I'm not worried, and I'm not grouchy. But I am going to kick your little brother's butt for pulling a stunt like this. Well, knowing Cody, I bet he's probably warmer than we are right now. This place belongs to an old man named Dick Olson. Comes up here in April, then goes down to Sacramento in September. He's a good old guy. He's got this old horse named Gus. They're both about blind. This really is your world up here, isn't it? I love it up here. Dad and I, we do lots of things. Dad's quite a guy, isn't he? My dad can do anything. He's gonna kick my butt for this, though. 